Well, I put this minnow in with my smallest aquarium here. It's got a, just a leopard frog and a salamander in it, and I was just kind of seeing what would happen. That leopard frog chased that minnow like crazy, and there's what happened to it. I don't know. Maybe he bit it and didn't want to eat it. This is like a huge leopard frog. It's one of the biggest ones I've ever seen. So I figured he'd be a good pet. So anyway, we're going to try to salvage this very freshly dead minnow by feeding it to Sally over here. A very young salamander. Sally has mostly been getting night crawlers for food. Actually, the story on this salamander, I'm a fire safety inspector for my career. And I was in a sprinkler room, just basically a mechanical room. And I looked over and I thought I saw a dried up lizard on the floor. So I walked over and I picked it up and realized it was a salamander and one of it, it was just literally shriveled up like a raisin, covered in cobwebs, it looked like it had been dead for months. So I picked this thing up and one of its toes just kind of curled a little bit and I was like, this is still alive. So I took it out and I put it in a quick trip cup full of water and it came right back to life. And he didn't feel very good and it was probably a week and a half before he would even walk or do anything. And I've been hand feeding it ever since, and it's become very friendly. So we're going to see if this very small salamander will eat this pretty large minnow. So here we go. All right, first we're going to need you to get out here where the camera can see you, Sally. What are you doing back there? There you go. And you might think I'm startling. The salamander is not going to eat now that he's been picked up. Now this thing is like... It likes food. It doesn't really care. Oh, he missed. Come on. Come on. Hmm. Be kind of funny if he tries to get it in his mouth. Fish is probably half as long as salamander. Come on, Sally, you can do it. Look how tasty this looks. The thing is, I fed it a full minnow two days ago, and I'm guessing it's probably not digested yet. So this might be a little bit much. I don't know what he's doing. She. I don't know what she's doing. Look how tasty this looks. I'd eat it if I was you. <laughs> I mean, you can imagine that thing, you know, once it's in her stomach, that's a lot of food. So I'm guessing the one she ate two days ago is probably not digested yet, and she probably just realizes that there is no room for an entire fish in there at this point but just so the camera can see oh well, I could be wrong that appetite just got a lot bigger I was gonna say I'd go grab a night crawler just so we could watch her eat something that is a lot of food <laughs> I really don't know if it's all gonna fit but We'll see. And then I'm going to go see if I can get a grasshopper or a cricket or something for this guy. You got that? Is he going to fit? So I read about salamanders today and they said that they breathe through their skin. Which confuses me because if you look close here, it definitely has nostrils. And it looks to me like he breathes through his face, like a normal creature. So I don't know. Let's see if we can get a, a bit more of a crazy angle here. This is the first salamander I've ever kept. It's 
still been kind of a learning process as far as what it'll eat and everything else, but it's extremely friendly. I picked him up the other day, carried him over to my kitchen table, let him run around a little bit, and I fed him over there, like outside of the tank. So, I mean, he, she doesn't really get scared of me at all. Almost got it all the way in. Anyway, this is getting a little long, so we're going to go see if we can get a cricket and watch the frog eat. Probably needs a couple of them. I think I fed, oh, you can see it's pretty fat, so I don't know how hungry it'll be, but yesterday, the frog probably ate, I don't know, five crickets. Might be a little much, but they were running around all over outside, so I figured, why not? And just give it as much as it wants. So we'll go see if we can find a bug here, and I'm sure when we come back, the salamander will either have thrown up the minnow or finished it. Not a whole lot left there. <laughs> all right, so I've got some spots. Usually at night, it's a lot easier. I can come out and the big crickets running all over. But during the day, just kind of look underneath stuff here. Usually there's a couple of them somewhere. I don't get a lot of grasshoppers here in the middle of town, so crickets have been a better bet. There we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, come on. Got it. Oh. <laughs> About lost it there. I think somehow it knows it's about to be eaten. Alright, so let's run this guy in here and see what happens. All right. I've been trying to work on the frog getting tame enough that it'll eat out of my hands, but I haven't quite got there yet. Be cool if the first time was on camera. Oh, it did. <laughs> It was all blurry though. Maybe I can find another one. No, I'll be right back in here. Seems like gas cans wouldn't be the greatest spot. But I've got a lot of crickets hide underneath these. No, not today. Check out this flathead catfish skeleton I found out kayaking on the river. This was a big fish. I mean, just the bones here alone are over three foot long. You can see just kind of with my hand there. That's a big head. Who knows how heavy that thing was. Well, I found one. I reached in to grab it so fast that I smushed it. I've got pets in there that'll eat it for sure, but I need something that'll move around so that frog will chase it. So let's look underneath some of these logs. Hmm. Well, I'm going to need both hands to try and catch a cricket here, so I don't want to throw this mostly dead one away. Because something will still eat it. So in the words of Steve Irwin, I'll save that for later. If there's one under here, I don't even know how I'm going to get to it. No. What about... Nope. There's almost got to be something under here. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe the retaining wall? No. Got some fish skeletons in there. Don't ask about those. How about under here? Nothing. 
running out of spots to check here. Hmm. Nothing. If it was a little bit darker, I'd just come out here with a flashlight and they'd be running around. Maybe we just start saving them in a bucket or something. I've never found one under this, but still nothing. Okay, I'm running out of spots to check here. We've got just a couple more, and we might have to start looking for something else to feed that frog. So, wish me luck. I feel like just one of these. Oh, that's no cricket. No one just have a cricket in it. What better home? Oh man, there's a million ants. If only there was crickets. More ants. This is how come I get ants in the house every year. It puts poison out here. Huh. One other spot here. And that is the grass. I'm just going to go kick around, see if I can get something to come out of the grass. And if not, I've got some red worms. We'll settle for one of those. Oh, there's one. He's so small. I don't know how to catch these without smashing them. There's one. Oh. I don't know if you can see them on the camera. They're elusive. There's one. Oh, come on. That one jumped off my finger. Ah, oh, finally. These things made a fool of me, but I got one. Very small, but I'm guessing the frog won't care. All right, that was a lot of work to get this one tiny cricket. Here we go. Watch it jump off my fingers or something. Come on. Oh yeah. That lasted about all of one second. Was it delicious? Oh, what? Oh, apparently he missed it the first time. Got it that time, I think. I didn't even see it. Sally over here. About as full as a little salamander can get. Look at that belly. Not one, but two fish in there. That is one filled up salamander. I cannot believe. It ate that whole thing. I probably wanted to feed him again for, or her. I keep doing that. Probably want to feed her again for a couple days. So that about wraps it up for feeding these guys. I originally thought I would just put the leopard frog in here because they both had spots. And I, I don't know, that sounds retarded, but I was like, you know what? A salamander and a frog, why would they hurt each other? And they actually get along great. I've got a bunch of, you know, I'll come in and They'll be all cuddled up. I don't know if they I know they don't produce heat, but they'll just like press against each other or the salamander will sit on top of the frog. They get along great. So it's been a pretty fun aquarium to have. Right next to my bed. It's basically my nightlight. I have to turn it off, it gets too bright, but lots of fun.